We're going to tie a deep minnow. This is a great pattern for trout or salmon. Uh, it's a pattern that gets down deep. Uh, you can tie it at all different sizes, all different colors. Works well in fresh water, salt water, or whatever. I'm going to start my thread back about one third down the shank of the hook. I'm going to create a little ball of thread there. Don't need much, just a slight ball of thread. I'm going to take my dumbbell eyes here and lay them right against that ball and take some wraps all in one direction. I'll straighten those eyes out and take wraps in the other direction. I want to get these eyes anchored pretty tightly. Now I'm going to bring my thread up to the eye of the hook. And then about halfway back. So the, the size of this fly is not that large that I'm tying here. So I'm able to use calf tail instead of bucktail. I like using calf tail because it flares less, a little bit easier to use. And I'm going to take a bunch of this calf tail. I got a bunch there and I'm going to grab just the long ends and pull all those short ends out. So I've got a nice long bunch of calf tail. I want to measure this up here about twice the length of the of the hook. Get it up there and measure it. See where I'm going to cut it. Switch it in the other hand. And I'm going to cut, leaving just enough to tie on. Nice and even. And bring that right up to where we've got our thread. I'm going to take and hold that at about a 45 degree angle and take one loose wrap around the top and pull towards me. Now I'm going to wrap towards the eye and attach that in good shape. Now I'm going to slide my fingers back holding it up on top of the shank of the hook. And bring my thread in back of the eye and again pull towards me. I want that hair to stay on the top of the shank of the hook. Holding that at about a 45 degree angle, I'm going to attach it all the way back to the bend. And then I'll wrap forward. Bring my thread again in front and just back from the eye of the hook. We have our tail attached. I can now turn the hook over and we'll do the wing. I'm going to put a little flash into this. So I've got a little clear crystal flash. I'm going to gra grab a few little strands. I'm going to cut those, leaving just enough to tie on. I'm going to bring those up 
where our thread is now. And again, take one loose wrap around the top, pull towards me. And I'm going to anchor those in good shape. I'm going to hold those back down and cut those about the length of my hair. Now for the, uh, actually the top of this fly, I'm going to use a golden calf tail. And I'm going to try to take a little bit bigger bunch than what I used for a throat. And again, like we did before, I'm going to run my fingers back and grab just the tips of the longer hair and pull all those short hairs out of there. And I want these to be about the same length as our, the rest of our hair. Now that I got those measured, I'll cut the ends off nice and square. Pinch those my fingers. I'm going to hold those up on the hook of the fly, holding them above. I'm going to take one loose wrap around with my thread and pull towards me. And now I can wrap those ends down nice and tight. Create my head. Tie it off. 